Hey, take your foot off the brake. Take your foot off the brake. Uh, hey, Mike Conlon here with 302 Homes, Delaware Real Estate. Uh, and I just had that thought this morning, take your foot off the brake. And I wanted to share a real life experience um, that I had just a few years ago. Um, and it had to do with that thought, taking your foot off the brake. I was coming back uh, from the state of Maine, where I was born and raised. Um, I left, it was around Christmas, Christmas time, sometimes snowing crazy. I had a 92, uh, no, 2001 Chevy uh, T-top Camaro. And I was coming down through, uh, I was on Interstate 91, where it turns in just south of Hartford, Connecticut, where it turns to 95 and goes right into New York City. And I was, you know, it had gotten warmer through the, through the night because, you know, the further south you go, the warmer it gets. It was rainy, um, misty, the roads were wet. Um, but I, I did not calculate for the drop in temperature. And I crested a hill at 90 miles an hour. I was in a hurry to get home. <laughs> and uh, the car fishtailed. It went... The back end of this rear wheel drive Camaro fishtailed back. My uh, wife at the time uh, was asleep in the front seat. It fishtailed back one side, the other, and then flipped completely around. And I was going downhill uh, at 90 miles an hour backwards. Um, now, in that stretch of road, if you know, if you've been through there, traveled where 91 turns and 95 coming south. Uh, going into New York City, just south of Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, it's five lanes of traffic, um, and then two breakdown lanes. Um, and knee-jerk knee reaction, I close my eyes, step on the brake, and hard as I could, and, and we were, you know, I'm going down the, uh, the road backwards at 90 miles an hour. What, what happened was, and I, I swear, hey, Ryan Hightower, good morning. Um... What happened was I audibly heard a voice, audible, and it was not me. What was my, again, my wife was sleeping in the car and it said this, take your foot off the brake. Now, let me tell you something. That went against everything that was within me. It didn't make any sense. I, but it was the voice the tone of the voice that I, I, I knew it wasn't anything I would have come up with myself. Um, but I did it. I just, I simply took my foot off the brake. And I, I sure, as sure as I'm sitting here right now, the car righted itself. No, I didn't open my eyes. <laughs> I wasn't doing that. But I did take my foot off the brake. I listened to that voice. Um, the voice of God, I, that's what I believe it was. You can make up your own mind. Um, and we continued probably, I don't know, a quarter of a mile down that, because it's, it's downhill. Uh, and we came to rest in the breakdown lane, right up against those steel, those cement um, dividers. I got a little scratch underneath the front, my front bumper. That is it. We were safe. We came to a stop. I sat there out of breath just totally in shock. Um, and I wondered what would have happened had I not taken my foot off the brake, had I not listened to that voice. Now, fast forward, I've gone through there, through that uh, stretch of road many, many times since then. And good morning, mom. Good morning, uh, everyone. Thanks so much uh, for, for hopping on here. Um, and every time I go through that section of road, um, I always think about that night and just hearing that voice and, and just doing, fighting against everything within me that said no, but it didn't make any sense to take my foot off the brake, but I did it and the car righted itself and came and we, it got a little scratch on the, at 90 miles an hour, come on. Um, that absolutely was a miracle. Um, and I, I'm so grateful that I did listen to that voice when it spoke to me. Um, but throughout my life and through that, since that time, um, I've had 
I've had, everyone knows, you know, uh, my, my name is Michael, I am an alcoholic. Um, been sober now almost 10, 10 months. And I liken that experience to uh, my issue with, with alcohol. Um, it was the break. It was the break in my life that would not allow me, number one, to right myself and get headed in the right direction um, at whatever speed. Um, but it hindered me. It had me out of control. It had me going through life backwards, um, not making any progress. Um, and I'm not saying uh, that may that may or may not be your 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 uh, what's keeping you or what in your life what is on stepping on your brake to prevent you from traveling in the direction you should go um, at the speed that you you should be going. Um, and accomplishing and seeing the things that you should be seeing and, and doing. Um, but that was what it was for me. So when I go through there every time, number one, I always am, am blessed. I thank God. Thank God for that night that he spoke to me and I listened. And, and then the ongoing blessing of using that and, and now be, you know, being sober and writing my life and heading it in the right direction. Um, and accomplishing the things that I'm supposed to be uh, accomplishing and doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing. Um, it, it was just a tremendous point in my life where I believe the very hand of God, the one who created all this, reached down with his voice and spoke to me. Well, sorry about that. <laughs> um, and I'm so grateful. Now, uh, my life is so different today, so different today. And I just wanted to share that analogy. Take your foot off the brake, whatever it is in your life that you think is stepping on your brake, your life's brakes, whatever it is. Um, for me, it was, it was alcohol. And um, I, got, I, got, I got rid of it. Uh, if, if that's your issue and you don't know, you struggled with it too, reach out to me. I'll, I'll tell you what I did. I'll share with you what I did that's working for me. Uh, I'm happy to do it. Um, but life is great today. And so if there's anything that you feel stepping on your life's break and not allowing you to move forward, it's got you out of control, going back and forth, backwards, eyes closed, eyes wide shut. Um, hey, comment here, PM me, let's talk. I, you know, obviously all the videos that I do, I love to talk and I love to, uh, compare notes and, and life and stuff like that. So, hey. Take your foot off the brake. Go accomplish what you're supposed to accomplish. Go see what you're supposed to see. Go do what you're supposed to de do. And go connect with the people you're supposed to connect with and share them uh, your life story. Thanks. I'll talk to you later.